Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. A boy whose remains were found in a remote desert compound in New Mexico died during a ritual ceremony, U.S. prosecutors said. The boy's remains were discovered after police rescued 11 malnourished children who were being held at the site. Five adults have been arrested on charges of abusing the children, charges they have denied. The district judge granted all five bail, ruling the prosecution had not conclusively proven they were a threat. Defense lawyers have argued that the prosecution are treating the five suspects unfairly because they are Muslim, something prosecutors deny. Police raided the compound, near Amalia, on August 6 as part of their search for a missing three-year-old boy, Abdul Ghani Wahaj. Abdul Ghani was not among the 11 children rescued from the compound, but police later found the remains of a young boy there. Abdul Ghani's father, Siraj Wahaj, is suspected of abducting the boy from his Georgia home in December. He was arrested at the site, along with Lucas Morton, Janie Levile, Hayara Wahaj, and Subhana Wahaj. Prosecutors had argued that the five were dangerous and should not be granted bail, because they had trained the children to use weapons and carry out school shootings. They also said that the remains found at the site belonged to Abdul Ghani and that the other children said the boy had died during a religious ritual, intended to cast out demonic spirits, where Siraj Wahaj had put his hand to his son's forehead, and recited verses from the Quran. Abdul Ghani suffered from seizures, but Mr. Wahaj believed the boy was possessed by the devil and needed to be exorcised, court papers said. An FBI agent told the court that after Abdul Ghani died, the children were told he would return as Jesus and tell them where to carry out attacks, an FBI agent told the court. However, Judge Sarah Bacchus said that while the information she had heard was troubling, prosecutors had not proved that the defendants posed a threat to the wider community. The state alleges that there was a big plan afoot, but the state hasn't shown to my satisfaction, in clear and convincing evidence, what that plan was, she said. All five must wear ankle monitors and have weekly contact with their lawyers on bail, she ordered.